Hello Universal Monster fans, this is JAR369 and welcome back for another horror figure related for 31 horror toys in 31 days. I'll be taking a look at the Mego Universal Studios Monsters, The Invisible Man from the original Invisible Man movie, not the 2020 version, the original, made by, well of course, Mego. So take a look at the box, I would say. You see, this is not an ordinary Mego carded box, but this is like pay homage, homage to the uh, original where Mego was originally make, originally doing the boxes from like, I don't know, the 70s or 80s. I, I don't know, to be honest. Correct me in the comments down below. You can see the window exposing the figure, just the figure, and he is... Eight, 8 inches tall, has four, 14 points of articulation, his name right here, but in, I would say in uh, Jelly, or else I would, I'm not going to say the other word, because, you know, YouTube and everything, yeah, warning, choking hazard, so yeah, and as recommend for ages 17 plus, so, hey, that's good for me, from YouTube, on the side, you get the image the screenshot image of the invisible man in his smoking jacket other side same thing and you get the Mego logo right there on the back you can see this well the same image and but in a different pose and here's a picture of the of the creator and also the bio about the the fit the Mego figures anyway so that's about it for the packaging let's take out the Invisible Man out of the package. Here is the Invisible Man out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Looking at the head sculpt, I would say the head sculpt looks really not bad at all. Not too bad. Very well like the, um, how he looks in the original movie. The glasses, very well sculpted on. And the, the bandages that are wrapped around his head. Looks really good. Pretty good at all. Yeah, there's like a little bit of dark shade to like some sort of black, gray, or brownish color. I don't know, to be honest. There's some black outlines on over there for the bandages. Yeah, it's Amigo did a really a fantastic job on the on his head scope here. And you can see there's like a little strap right there, which I'm I'll show you that later on. Well, now because well there's the handkerchief cloth thing here and take a look at his outfit yes this is his most famous smoke jacket that he wore in the original i would say they did really not too bad of a job with the um the smoke jacket uh there's nothing much i can see anything on the the jacket here well, because the whole jack, the whole film was in black and white, so. Yep. You get, like, the little pockets right here. You get the patterns on the inside of their coat. On his coat there. Very not bad stitching works by someone else who does the, the costumes of the Amigo figures. And you can see some pockets there as well. Yeah, you can see there's, like, a little rope for tying up his um his jacket his smoke jacket and take a look at the hands you can see there's just normal sculpting Mego hands but there are translucent and if you lift up the sleeves or move this here you can see the whole his whole body is translucent because obviously he's the invisible man yeah, if you take off his whole outfit, yeah, all you can, all you get was just a clear body, but the head is still on, so it's not removable, obviously, it's just sculpting on, like I said. And take a look at the pants, there's nothing much, just the usual Mego pants, and take a look at the shoes, and yes, this is a Mego figure, it is removable, but you can see there's some shoelaces sculpting on there. And on the bottom, there's nothing much, so that's about it. Overall, for the Invisible Man figure, I say Miko did a really a fantastic job with this figure. I really do love this figure. 
I mean, hey, come on, it's the Invisible Man. Who doesn't like that? The head sculpt looks really good, I would say. But the whole outfit, yeah. Yeah, Miguel did a really great job with his outfit. And moving on to articulation, there's a head rotation. It does rotate all the way, but I don't want to go all the way around for the um, for the uh, neck here because of the this handkerchief. The arms doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by the um, elastic band inside. But it does go in and out. Bend at the elbows. The wrists do rotate. And does have the hinge. There's a w rotation at the waist or bolt or I, I don't know the the elastic band again makes it like it's like the waist have ball joints. Legs kick forward and back, in and out, bend at the knees, and the ankles to pivot forward and back, and that's about it. Just a standard Migo articulation. I mean, you can definitely give them some possibilities, but as in for now. Migo released their, well, it's doing their new bendless body on their figures. Hopefully, later on, Migo decided to sell the body separately. Because, like, come on, they replaced other bodies. I mean, that would be really cool, I would say. Well, for accessories, sadly, he does not come with any accessories for all. No, no, um chemical for no potion that makes him invisible nothing nada yeah but overall it's still a really a not too bad looking figure it's a fantastic looking figure Mego figure for your universal monsters collection or your horror collection sculpting on the head looks really good the um the clothing on the um the, the figure itself, I say they did a really an, a fantastic job with his um the the smoke jack the smoking jacket and and everything. Yeah, I do definitely recommend getting this figure at well originally at Walmart, but now pretty much everywhere else. Yeah, you, if you get it anywhere else, you're probably gonna get the um. The one with the carded, I got the box version. And it was like on sale for like $8. I was like, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, for the retail with the um the, the re-release version where the with the carded, it would probably be like, well, 20 bucks or or 15. I don't know. I forgot how much Mego figures are, to be honest. But still it really a not too bad looking figure. And again, I still recommend getting this figure for your for your universal shelf for my rate i'm gonna give the invisible man figure a i probably might give him like an 8 out of 10 so i hope you enjoyed my review if you did please consider like comment share and subscribe if you're new to my channel and follow me on instagram and twitter both links will be in the description down below that's all i have to say this is the Migo Universal Monsters, the Invisible Man figure from Migo. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review. And remember, stay spooky.